What's up everyone? This is Mr. Fresh. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can network two Linux computers with each other using an Ethernet cable and no router. Let's go ahead and get started. I have two machines that I'm using. This screen right here is attached to an Ubuntu Linux machine, a computer. This one over here, this screen, it is attached to this Raspberry Pi 400 keyboard, which is running the latest distribution of Kali Linux. So I have Ubuntu Linux over here. I have Kali Linux over here on the right. And I want to emphasize that neither one of these machines is connected to the internet. They are both offline. What I have is I have an ethernet cable. It's a yellow ethernet cable and it is actually running into the back of this Raspberry Pi 400 keyboard. And then the other end of the ethernet cable is running into my Ubuntu Linux machine that is attached to the screen on the left. And what I'm going to do is we're going to open up a terminal emulator. We're going to start on the left side. So I'm going to start on my Ubuntu Linux distribution. Don't matter which one you start on. Um, I do have a cheat sheet down here below in the lower left so that I do not uh, miss any important things that I want to demonstrate in this video. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is on my first computer on the left, I'm going to run ifconfig. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I want to get the uh, naming convention of my my Ethernet interface, and that is going to be right here. So I will just highlight that and copy it. And I will clear the screen. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the interface down by running sudo ifconfig followed by the name of the interface and down to bring it down. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to run the command sudo ip. Uh, adder for add, and I'm going to assign this an IP address of 10.0.0.10 forward slash 24. Um, then I'm going to do dev for device, and then I'm going to provide it with the name of my Ethernet interface. I'll just paste that in, and then I will hit uh, enter and I get back that the uh, uh, command is unknown. So let me double check to make sure that the syntax is OK. Oh, oh, yeah. So I did make a mistake. So I actually forgot one word. So it's sudo IP adder uh, add and then the IP address. I'll make sure that the commands are in the uh, description so that you can copy and paste these if you want to do this on your own. I'll hit enter. And the next thing that I'll do is I will bring the interface back up. So I'll go back into my command history and I'll replace down for up and hit enter. Now, if I run ifconfig, what I have is uh, you actually can now see that I have an IP address on that ethernet uh, interface. Uh, we have nothing else to connect to yet, but we have at least given it an IP address. Now, the uh, next step is I'm going to come over to my computer over here that's attached to the monitor on the right. It's my Kali Linux distribution, and I will open up a, a terminal, make the font uh, bigger so that you can see it, make sure I'm using the right keyboard, and... Once again, pretty much the same steps. I'm going to run ifconfig so that I can get the naming convention of the Ethernet interface on my Raspberry Pi 400. And that name is uh, etho with a, a zero instead of an O. So I will just go ahead and copy that, clear the screen. And the same thing, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the interface down by running sudo ifconfig followed by the name of the interface and uh, down. Next step will be to run sudo uh, ip adder 
add, and I'm going to do 10.0.0.20. So on this machine, I did 10. On this one, I'm doing 20. And it's still going to be on that same uh, subnet. So I'm going to do forward slash 24. And I'm going to do uh, dev for device. And then, once again, the name of the interface, which on this system is going to be uh, etho uh, 0. So paste that and hit enter and then I will bring the uh, interface up by running sudo ifconfig etho up and now if I clear the screen and run ifconfig and I back scroll you'll see that on my ethernet interface right here I now have given it an IP address of 10.0.0.20 and then over here on this one this one has an IP address of 10.0.0.10. So these machines should now be able to communicate with one another. Uh, they're, they're on the same, um, uh, they're in the same address space. One has a 10 at the end, one has a 20 at the end. So I should be able to ping one uh, system from the other and vice versa. So we're going to go ahead and test this now and make sure that we have network connectivity. And I want to emphasize once again, neither machine is connected to the internet. This is my own network that I've created. And uh, there are many reasons why you would do this. We'll get into some of those reasons maybe at the end of the video, but let's go ahead and, and uh, test now to make sure that we actually have network connectivity between the two machines. So what I'm going to do is um, over on my Kali Linux machine, I'm actually going to ping this machine. So if I real quick get the IP address again that I assigned this machine, it's 10.0.0.10. So over here on this machine, I will do ping 10.0.0.10. Uh, .0 and I'm going to come over to this machine. I'm going to clear the screen out. I'm actually going to uh, start up Wireshark so that we can look at the packets in real time as they're traversing um, over the wire. So I will uh, open that up and uh, over on this machine, I'm going to hit enter and start pinging this machine. So we are now sending pings and on this machine, let's verify that we are receiving the pings and you can actually see in real time as we're sending pings from our Kali Linux machine to the Ubuntu machine in real time, you can see all of these, um, all of these uh, uh, rows that are highlighted in green. Those are pings being sent from this machine are also known as ICMP uh, you know, requests. So we have shown that we do in fact have a network connectivity. Now let's go ahead and reverse the process just to be uh, thorough with, with our testing here. So I will stop pinging on this machine and clear the screen and I'm going to run uh, Wireshark now on this machine, my Kali Linux machine. And over here, I'm going to ping this machine. I'm going to ping the Kali Linux machine from my Ubuntu machine. So I will do a ping 10.0.20, I believe it was. Yeah, so I will start pinging. And over here, you can even see you know, the line immediately jumped up. So I'll go ahead and click on the etho interface here in Wireshark, open that up. And you can see the color is uh, the colorization is different than this one. Um, it's pink, but same concept. So you actually see the ICMP requests in real time showing up inside of Wireshark as we ping it from this machine. So we are good to go. We have network connectivity both ways. And, um, why would you do this? Well, I mean, there's many reasons why you would do this. For me, I'm just trying to uh, further my networking uh, skills and um, something that I would say I definitely need need to work on. So for me, that that's enough of a reason. But 
one specific reason that I could think of as to why you'd want to do this is so that um, you could, for example, uh, use something like SSH and SSH into uh, the Raspberry Pi from from your your host computer and maybe run things on your Raspberry Pi and be able to communicate with it. You know, it could be for transferring files. I mean, it's, it's a multitude of things. You could be running a web server on this and you want to be able to access it from your other machine and you don't want to do it over Wi-Fi. You know, if you can do it over Ethernet, it's always going to be faster, safer, more reliable. And, um, you know, I think that's that's enough of a reason in and of, of itself. So uh, there's other reasons if you guys want to... Um, elaborate on that in the comments on why you might do something like this by all means please do so but uh at this point i think we're going to end the video and i would like to do another video uh, in the near future here where maybe we we add some more devices i actually have a switch laying around here somewhere so i'd like to um do another video and incorporate a switch into this uh topology if you will and maybe connect more devices, but instead of connecting them from one machine to the to the next, we'll connect say three or four machines all going into a